You too, man. What the fuck is going on, man? So look, I was the only man in the whole restaurant that practiced the body game. I want y'all boys to sit the fuck back. We're going to jump into the story time, man. So look, y'all boys think I'm, I'm bullshit when I tell y'all practice the fucking body game. Get in shape and watch how people going to treat you different and how much you really stand out from, from the rest of the pack. You understand what I'm saying? Like people going to treat you like a celebrity, bro. You, go, you ain't gonna need no diamond chains. You ain't gonna need none of that shit, bro. They gonna see the physique and they gonna think, what the fuck is this dude? I swear to God. Let's see the fuck, man. We gonna get into this shit, man. So look, last week, man, I went to Fogo de Chão, right? It's a, uh, it's a Brazilian steakhouse, man. And it's pretty good food, man. And um, anyways, man, you pay like $50, $50, $60, and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. But it's like an upscale buffet. It ain't that like all oh, you can eat Chinese buffet that you pay eight ninety nine now. Nah, like it's it's quality food. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, they got good shit, man. So, anyways, man, just to, just to just to picture, just to paint the scene for y'all, man. I pull up. I got slim fit polo, right? Black jeans, Chelsea boots, man. Right? Just see, I know like what type of time I'm on. You understand what I'm saying? Anyways, man, and obviously, man, the clothes is hugging the physique, man. You understand? Why, why, why would I Why would I get in shape, but not and not show off the physique? Come on, that shit don't even make sense. So anyways, man, get into the restaurant. And I had a feeling before I went in that I was going to be the only dude in shape. Because I'm telling y'all, bro, bro, my boys, man, my dogs, man, if you in shape, man, you can you can relate to it. And um, if if you're not there yet, this this video is gonna motivate you to get to that point, bro. It's not too many dudes, man, at, in public restaurants, man. Like when you go you go eat at night and shit, but it's not too many dudes like that. So, anyways, get into the restaurant, right? I was meeting some people there, and um, I'm scoping the room. You know, everywhere I go, man, I like to scope out the room. You know, and it, and it's packed. It's a packed house, man. Like it's about 60 70 people right so it's look imagine like you know you got long tables all packed so i'm walking in the middle man and i'm looking around when i tell you bro everybody's heads went up when i pull up to the function like i'm not even exaggerated when i say this shit bro like i wish i i wish i could exaggerate i'm, I'm dead ass when i say this Dudes wives was looking up white women, black women. I'm talking about looking up, checking me out. And it was kind of a weird energy. It was a weird tension in the room that I could feel because this shit was coming from everywhere, my nigga. And I'm scoping out the room. And I was right. No dude was in shape. I think about what I said, dog. 70, 60, 70 people in the restaurant. No one is shape. I guess it is all you can eat buffet, right? So it's gonna be fat motherfuckers, right? But still, man. Right? I pull up, man, the waitresses. It's, it's checking me out, but they try hard not to look at me. They trying to stay focused on the job. There was like three Brazilian waitresses and they look good, man. I think one was a manager. So she kind of walking around with that kind of attitude. Like she, she runs shit. But you, know, you just got to let it have it, man. You got to let it rock. Um, so anyways, man, I go sit at the table. Right? And um, the waitress, man, that was helping me out. She was cool. She wore too much makeup. But she, you know, she decent. She wore too much makeup, man. But not really my type. But um, dudes was gawking at her like, you know, like she, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was her, right? And then the manager, because the people that I was with, they, uh, they cool with them. And uh, you know they, you know, they, they didn't even take my order, like to, what I wanted to drink. And, and it hit me is because it's like you make chicks nervous, right? And you gotta know as a select man, you play as a body game. Chicks want to be the center of attention. Do you guys get what I'm saying? They want to be the center of attention. And I'm peeping, I'm peeping the energy, man. Because everywhere I go, even if I'm with the people, I'm still peeping the room, peeping the energy, man. And I'm looking at my waitress, right, that's supposed to be helping us. And she going around the table and she cool with everybody. Because every, I ain't gonna lie, the people that I was with, 
you know, um, my step family, they, uh, none of them is shit. That motherfuckers, look, man, it's all love, man, but they, motherfuckers fat, all right? So, they, she cool with them. Like, you know, they, they laughing and this and joking. She coming around to me, though. When it's time for ask her what I want to drink, she gets serious. She like, oh, shit. And this was like every waitress that was there. You want to stamp? Like, she... Ty's Worldwide, man. Shout out to my boy Ty's Worldwide. If you're watching this video, man. He made a video, man. He was like, if a chick is just so comfortable around you that she's just talking, talking, talking to you, she not that into you. Because a chick that really into you, that finds you attractive, she kind of nervous and kind of hesitant when she's talking to you. Right? Think about it. If it's somebody that you comfortable around, you you know, you can talk all day, chop it up, shoot the shit. So anyways, man, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm taking mental notes in my head. Like, okay, she like that. Okay, boom. This is what I do. You understand? So anyways, man, I go to the buffet. Because the buffet, you know, you can grab the plate by the buffet. You know, you serve yourself, man. And the buffet is in the middle of the whole restaurant. Right? So you got a buffet and then you got a bunch of tables around it. I'm walking. I'm talking everybody nervous around me. I mean, everybody nervous. And I'm just chilling, bro. Like, I'm just trying to get my food and I'm, 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 I'm on good energy, man. I'm on good vibes. You guys get what I'm saying? I'm on I'm on good vibes. And I'm just and I'm just looking around the room. And when I kid y'all now, bro, like every fucking chick damn near was looking at me. I ain't gonna see everyone, right? I ain't uh, I'm exaggerating a little bit. But every way that every turn that I was looking at, they was in my they was looking in my direction. Mind you, they came on this date with the dude. That's why I tell you guys, man, that money does not mean shit. You give her the experience, man. You take it on this date, man, for the, you know, to eat at this buffet. But she looking my way. Why the fuck is she looking my way? I'll tell you why, motherfucker, because I'm the only dude in shape. There was only one dude in shape, man. That was a waiter, right? Dude, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was in good shape. You know what I'm saying? I salute him, man. Me and him. That was it. In the whole fucking restaurant of 70 people. That's why y'all need to get in the gym. Because think about it. What percentage of people 1 in 70 or 2 in 70? My math is not great. Is that 1%, 2%? I don't know what the fucking percentage is. 2% something low. It's a very small minority. You get what I'm saying? And I was trying to enjoy my time, man, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, it was definitely uncomfortable for me, man. Because I'm talking about these dudes' wives is looking at me. Think about it. You brought this woman on a date. You trying to wow her. I know some dudes probably take bitches to fuck with the shell for the first date. I don't know why, but I guess... And she looking at me. And, and I'm not exaggerating when I tell y'all boys, man, like, I'm the only one in shape. Dog, I was the only one in shape besides the dude that worked there. Right? And all the managers, the chicks, man, you know, they helping everybody around the table. They didn't say one word to me. Not one word. I ain't get hurt or nothing. Do you know why? Because the manager, she was Brazilian, right? And I, like I talked, like I talked about a couple minutes before, women want to be the center of attention. Well, you guys, you guys understand something, man. That's what they feed off of. So if you're the type of dude, you get in this shape, man. You're working on your fashion too, man. You're smelling good. You're taking a lot of the attention away from the women. That's something that they cannot deal with. They don't know how to deal with that kind of shit, man. So when they see a dude like you. They gonna give you that cold shoulder. Some of them not. Go and this is not every woman, cause uh, trust me, I got chicks that show me high interest, and they look, man. They waited on the first night. Fuck the first night, didn't there, right? So I'm not saying every chick. So, anyways, 
and it, it's, and the, the Brazilian man just feels some type of way because I'm really not gawking at the bitch, man. Like, all these niggas in here are gawking at 